Hi, in this video we're going to show you how to switch out a standard toggle switch with an LED compatible dimmer switch. So if you remember from a previous video that we did when we swapped out an old toggle switch for a new one, you remember that safety is the number one priority here. Now while Sarah goes downstairs and turns off the circuit breaker, I'm going to go ahead and turn the light on so that when it goes off I know that the power has been turned off. Now that the power is off, we can proceed. So, step one, grab some coffee and your flathead screwdriver to take off the faceplate. Once your faceplate is off, go ahead and grab a Phillips screwdriver and we're gonna just go ahead and unscrew your switch. Now once your screws are exposed, we're gonna go ahead and grab the voltage tester just to double check to make sure there's no current going through the switch. Now, we're gonna put the black on the metal box to ground it, and then we're gonna go ahead and touch your screw with the red. Now, if nothing happens on the voltage meter, that means there's no current going through it. So we're good to go. You can also get one of those pen looking voltage testers that are really cool that light up. They're a little bit easier to use. Now that we've confirmed that there's no current going through the switch, we're gonna grab a Phillips screwdriver and disconnect the hot wire, the neutral wire, and the ground wire. Okay, so as you noticed, I loosened each screw, but I didn't take them all the way out. You can, um, but you don't have to. If you need a pair of electrical pliers, that'll help you just manipulate the wire off, but um, if it's still a good switch, there's no reason to take the screw all the way out. You can reuse it somewhere else. Now that we've taken the switch off, we can put the new dimmer switch on. Now when you go to buy your switch, make sure you're getting the switch that's right for your project. Um, this is actually a single pull or a three-way pull compatible. Now a single pull is when you have one switch that's operating one light fixture. A three-way is when you have two switches in different locations operating one light fixture. So either way, we're good here. You also wanna make sure that it's LED compatible because we are switching all our lights to LED because it's energy efficient and you should too. So if you have a three-way compatible switch, you're gonna notice that there's, there's three screws plus the ground wire. Now you're only gonna be using two of them for a single pull connection. The top copper screw is gonna, we're not gonna use it all because that's for a three-way connection point. Otherwise you have a brass and a copper. And that's gonna be your supply and your neutral wires. And of course your ground wire is gonna be connected to your existing ground wire and we'll just secure that with an electrical nut. Now once you get your wires connected, I like to test and make sure that everything is working properly before I start putting the wires back in the box and cleaning everything up. So, Sarah! Always having us do the dirty work. So now that the power is on and the switch and light fixture are working properly, we're gonna go ahead and just tape up the box with some electrical tape. Now I like to use tape on all my switches because it prevents shock. So once you tape your switch up, then you're then gonna have to just clean up these wires and push them right back into the box as well as make sure that the switch itself fits okay. Now some of these older boxes are a little smaller, so the switches actually come with these removable clips that you can just take right off so that you'll have a better fit in the box itself. So to make this easier, I'm gonna go ahead and grab my Lyman's pliers and use that to take off these pieces. They'll just snap off nice and easy. So I noticed that the box is still a little snug and that's due to some drywall pieces that are sticking out into the box. So I'm gonna go ahead and take my box cutter and just cut those pieces out nice and easy. Once you have the switch screwed in, you're basically done. You just need to put the faceplate back on. So you're gonna grab your flathead screwdriver and do just that. And wait for it, OCD moment. Don't forget to line up your screws so they're oriented the same direction. So that wraps up our project for today. The dimmer switch itself costs about $21, and that was our only expense if you have the tools already at home. Um, so you could do this in a rental, you can do this in your own home. It's a great way to add um, a little more customized lighting to your specific spaces, especially if it's a really, really bright light fixture and you're trying to like relax in the evening. Thanks again for tuning in. Um, please subscribe to the link below. If you do, every time we do a new video each week, you'll be automatically notified. See you next time. What's that? What's that? What?